this was the boiler that was purchased um, out in Washington. It was made uh, by uh, Washington Ironworks in 1926. Um, it is a 117 horsepower Scotch Marine style boiler. So a, a boiler horsepower equals 10 square feet of heating surface. This is our uh, Murray Corliss steam engine. Uh, it's made in about 1899, 1900. It's rated at 340 horsepower. Uh, RPM would be max. Uh, we have the governor set up once we come up on the governor to run at about 86 RPM. Um, the dimensions of the engine are a 26 inch bore and a 42 inch stroke. The uh, flywheel is 15 feet in diameter. The flywheel and um, crank and crank disc assembly weigh somewhere around 20 tons. This is the bottom side of the bandsaw. So the band is 44 feet long, 12 inches wide, uh, has a kerf of a roughly an eighth of an inch. So our kerf would be our width of our teeth here. Um, this back side here is called a sliver tooth. It's not designed to cut anything, um, but it's designed to kind of, um, if there's a sliver on the log and we're bringing the carriage back, rather than bind up, it'll knock it down. And in some cases it will cut it off, but it, it's just there to prevent it from when we go backwards. So the primary advantage that a bandsaw has over a circle saw is the kerf and the horsepower. So, um, for example, a typical circle saw, say a 60 inch diameter saw, such as one that we run at the Bride and Rowan Sawmill and at the, at the Western Minnesota Steam Threshers Union, we have 5 16 wide bits in that saw blade. These are only an eighth of an inch. And so, so it's thinner cut. It's, it's much thinner cut, so you can get um, several more boards out of a log, um, sawing with a thinner kerf. It also takes considerably less horsepower because you have less tooth in the saw oh, blade. Right, right. it's doing less work. It's doing less work, exactly right. right. right, right. And so, you know, horsepower requirements are less and uh, you get more production out of it. Yep, so when the, when the guys ran this in the mill, they had belts and they oh, were, really? yep. And so they would, um, they would stand here and they had kind of a 45 degree angle for them to lay their feet in. And they had a post that they could hook a, a belt up to to keep them on here. And then they would only run probably a quarter of the day, like to coffee break. And they'd swap out because it's such a violent motion that when you're sawing production uh, back when in this heyday, um, it was a pretty rough ride. Now, of course, we're sawing for demonstration and right. we're, we're not getting after it that hard, right. but um, it's and, capable of it.